Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Pally's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be looking at a masterpiece from the year 2016 from the house of Christian Dior, now known as the house of simply Dior. This is Jules for men. So originally, this fragrance came out in 1980 and had been discontinued, I believe, somewhere in the 1990s, and they re-released this fragrance in 2016. The original 1980 version I have not smelled. I have tried very hard to get my hands on a bottle of the 2016 version of Jules, the re-release. And I was finally able to obtain it from somebody. And this is a spectacular fragrance. This is an excellent re-release. This is one of the few fragrances that when it is re-released from its vintage version is act actually has a great quality to it. But like I said, I've never smelt the original, but this is a fantastic scent. So Jules in French means seducer or lover. So let's break down the notes on this. Let's spray the back of my wrist. So it's got a pretty decent, pretty powerful spray. So initially you get a sharp, kind of animalic, kind of lemony, bitter, pissy note. Again, animalic kind of burns your nostrils a little bit. But this changes fairly quickly. And it becomes very herbaceous. It's, it's clean, it's dense, but it's not suffocating. And that's what I love about this fragrance. I find that some fragrances that are more dense can sometimes be suffocating. And when that happens, you can't wear them because it's going to turn people off. So you still, when you're picking fragrances, they still have to be wearable. You have to be able to wear it in public. You have to be able to wear it in the date, wear it at work. And I know there's different types of occasions, but I work with some people that wear stu uh, some fragrances that are so powerful, so strong, you, you, it induces a headache. So always try to buy fragrances that you can wear. Because there's no sense buying them if you're not going to wear them. The late dry down this, uh, on this, oh sorry, the first dry down on this fragrance is, like I said, it's like a herbaceous cleanliness to it. It's got that gorgeous mix of kind of the, the, the herbaceous notes and the soft florals. And it's kind of mingling together. Later on, this is where the fragrance is at its best. It has an awesome kind of sweet, woody, aromatic, herb-like dry down that lasts for a fairly long period of time. As advertised, the top notes in this fragrance is are galbanum and various herbal notes. The mid notes are cyclamen, hedion, and black pepper. And the base notes are fir, leather, and cedar. A lot of people say they get, they get a leather note out of this. I do slightly, but nothing overly heavy. I get a lot of like kind of the woodiness, and then that herb, herbaceous note and the flower. It's a very interesting mixture. It's very pleasant. It's not off-putting. Performance on this was very good. I got about five to six hours and a decent projection and skin wash for the first three hours. And for a fragrance that's a little bit heavier, I think this is perfect performance because anything more would maybe be too much for the people around you and it will, it will turn people off. Final thoughts on this set. This is an excellent, a spectacular re-release. And many people compare this fragrance to Hermes, Hermes's Equipage. I see some similarities, but not too, too much, because uh, I find uh, Equipage much heavier, much more dense. It's, it's, uh, it's spicier, and it's, I would say, a little bit drier in a, in a bitter sort of way. This is a lot more lighter. It's got those floral notes. It's a little bit softer, which I prefer. The other one, Equipage is a great fragrance, but that is definitely, I would say, a notch up from this fragrance. Especially the bottle I had an Equipage, which I reviewed last week. Like I said, this, this one is smoother, it's sweeter, it's, it's got some animal notes, it's strong, but it's not overpowering. I would eventually like to get my hands on a 1980 bottle, or from a vintage bottle of Jules, to, uh, to compare, but that's very, very hard to find. And I believe this fragrance has also been discontinued. So I think it's more readily available in Europe than it is in North America, especially where I live in Canada. It's almost impossible to find, and the bottles are very, very expensive. But again, this is something I would say men late 20s and upward wear. It's not going to be for youngsters. It's not a clubbing fragrance. It's a more sophisticated, 
manly masculine fragrance. And I think this is an uh, uh, incredible fragrance. I think it's a real winner. And this I would definitely put in one of the, probably in my top 10 favorites in, in the category of the, of the masculine scent. So if you can get your hands on a bottle and it's a reasonable price and you like a more of the vintage style, this fragrance will be for you. So if you like this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, any comments or questions you have on this matter, modern masterpiece from the house of Christian Dior, Jules, leave them down below and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.